Hi guys, welcome to this Microsoft Access module. In this session, I want to look at how to create basic macros. So what I've got on the screen is a main menu with some buttons. So quickly recapping what these are. If I click on that one, it opens this form. Then I have two buttons on this form, or three buttons. Close form will take me back to the main menu. And then preview consultants, previews a report, go back, consultants, a query, and this one exports to one of these formats. Now these buttons were created using the wizard, so just to recap how you do that on one of them. Inform design, the controls section of the ribbon, command button, you draw a command button, it starts the wizard. So form operations I'll do first off, open form. Next you pick the form, so it's already on that top one. Leave it on this option next and then you name that open consultants you can type whatever you want there that's how it's going to look um, consultants next and then finish and then save then have a quick look click the button and it does the same thing the problem with these buttons they're great but if i um, enter data in the form as I'm sure you know that data is not in the form until you click off that record or close the form so you'd constantly have to keep clicking on close form to come back to make sure the record that you've just entered is activa activated and in the database so when I click on main menu there look it still leaves this form open at the back you can still see it so if this was not entered or tabbed across you'd still have that sitting there not in the database so to get around that little problem, you can use macros that will actually negate the need to use this button, close form, because the macro itself will close the form. So that's what I want to do. So to create a macro, you go create the top, macros on the right hand side, and then you, ex you are ex exposed to this screen. Down the right hand side, you've got the action catalog. We've got lots of little expandable arrows that you can click on. It gives you a list of tasks. With a heading and then at the top you've got some program flow options which we'll have a look at shortly but first off a very basic macro so these are some of the commands that you used to use macros the first one is open form down the bottom there open form as soon as you click on that it asks you for the form name form name in this example is consultant projects you then got the option to put filters in or a where condition. For example, where could be something like if the city field equals Bradford, then it would only open the fields for Bradford. I'm going to leave that as it is, but this is a key now. I want to close the window. So I'll start typing close and you've got close database, but I, want, I don't want that. I want close window. It then asks me which window it's a form and the object that i want to close is main menu so when i click the button i want it to close main menu so it's going to open this form and then close main menu now it's called macro one at the minute so i need to name this now the naming convention for macros is mcr so what is it doing it's opening consultants and closing main I like to name things like that so you can actually read what the actual the macro is doing. If I click OK to that, and then I can close this back to my main menu, and then I go into design of this, get myself another command button, draw that. This time, instead of form operations, I'm going to miscellaneous and run macro, and then you should see the macro that you've just done. Open consultants, close main next you need to still label it open consultants and then next you don't need to do anything there finish save the form have a look click the button so what happened there look the main menu is closed and this one's open so if i go back to main menu from this form and then just do that again open consultants it closes main menu so you then have to do another macro on this form. Instead of 
main menu, just opening main menu and leaving this form open, which it's doing at the moment, you would want the macro to close this form. So that's just the other way around. I'll close these down now and that one. Do another macro to open a report. So create macro, type in open report, ask you for the report name. So you select the reports that you have, consultants. And again, you've got the, the where condition if you want to. And I will do close window. And again, I'll close form down main menu. So just tidying up behind myself. Save this one as MCR open consultant report okay close the macro back to main menu going to design on main menu could have right clicked on that do yourself another button this time you're going to pick report operations it's miscellaneous run macro get it right and there you can see open consultants report. That's the one you want next. And then you could put run consultant report there. You can rename these labels at any time just by typing on them and then finish. Save that. Have a look at the form, click the button. So it's close the main menu and it's showing you the report. So that's basics basic macros. Now let's create a macro which will combine some of these actions. Because what you could end up having in a database, you could have lots of forms, therefore you could have lots of macros to individually open up all these forms. What would happen there is you would, then, you would have a, a long, long list down this left hand side which would be quite hard to manage. So there is a way that you can group macros into like little cabinets and then just have one macro in this list. But within that macro you have lots of sub macros. And I've given it away slightly by calling that sub macro. So if you go into macros, um, I'm going to save this straight off as open forms. In fact, I'll do the proper naming convention, MCR open forms. So what you need now is sub macro, this one, and you call this one open consultants this is the first one I'll do and then this one is going to be open form so type open form press enter and then select the form that you want which is consultants and I'm going to leave all that blank and then you now need another sub macro so that's the end of that one and then this one's going to be open example and then open form in this box and the form I'm going to open there is example and then I'll just save that so you basically created a macro called open forms and within that macro there are these sub tasks different steps individual steps so that one starts there and finishes there this one starts, open examples, and finishes there. So I'll close this one down. Now, what's the difference when you go back to your main menu? I will right click and do design view. When you do your little button, miscellaneous, run macro, next. What you see now is you get this little dot open forms, dot open examples, open forms, dot open consultant so it allows you to select which one so i haven't used this one so i'll select this one next open examples next and then finish save have a look open examples which is this one so by creating sub macros you're creating a little group and you can see there in this left hand side there's only one macro listed there but we know inside that there are two others. So that's a tidy way of doing that. So this, this one you could then delete. Well, you could edit this open forms macro so it's the same as that one and then delete. 
same with that one you could do a a macro group for opening reports now the other feature i want to quickly look at i'll just close this down is what's called um, an auto keys macro so you can use key commands on a macro so i'll create a new macro new macro i'll call it i'll save it straight away as so this is a key word you have to call it this auto keys save and then i'll do the same sub macro so this will be instead of a name it's going to be a key command so i'm using this symbol and the letter h that will activate this macro when i use that key command so i'll still do open form and then i'll do the same form and then i'll do another sub macro at the bottom there and i'll call i'll, I'll call this with a key command l so h and l if i can remember that open form and this one will be example so it's exactly the same and then i'll just save this again now because i've called it auto keys i should be able to do control for this one control and h and it opens the form on the key command and for this one I did control and L, so that should open that one, control and L, and it does. So obviously people would need to know what the key commands were to open these forms, but that's what the auto keys macro does. Now the last one I want to do is using an if command and a, an option box and attaching a macro to a properties field. So again, I'm going create macro this time I'm using the if option. Now you can type the criteria in this box, but I'm going to select the wizard at the end there. Comes up with your database objects. So I want all loaded forms and the form I want is gonna be this sponsor form. And the field that I want is the budget field. So I'm just gonna double click on the budget field so the, the criteria for this if statement is if the budget field is in fact I'll do it the word less than three hundred thousand that's the criteria so that's a test so if that's the case if that's true i, I want a box to come on the screen so i'm typing message box and then it gives me um, a box to fill in so I can type in any information I want in this box basically this will pop up on the screen if this criteria is false um, so what can I put I'll put um, not enough money so if they enter a figure in the budget field that's less than 300,000 I'll put that to proceed so this is what's going to pop up on the screen hopefully uh, save this macro as MCR um, budget status. Okay, don't run this macro. Close that down. So the form I need it on is this one. If I go and design on this form, and I need it on the budget field. So on there at the moment it's macro one, but I don't want macro one on there. I want this one. So there's a list of all your macros. You can see them there. So after I update this, I want this to come up after it checks whether that is less than 300,000. That's the idea. Save. New record. Give it a staff ID or sponsor ID then you put a figure in there of so when I come off this record it comes up with not enough money to proceed which is what I wanted it to do so that means you haven't entered a right figure in there you can, the message can be any message that you want click OK to that and then you have to do something so that's the end of this session on macros basic macros obviously there are a lot more than that Hopefully you've enjoyed this session and thank you for your time.